Okay, this is a stator winding of this Carlisle compressor. And we want to find out why this thing failed. And I think I got a pretty good idea. So we're going to take an ohmmeter and we're going to put it across this thing and see what we do. We are set up with the Fluke 16. It's on meg ohms. And we're going to start checking windings here. Okay. Okay, we're showing 2.6 ohms. 3.2 and 0.6 or 0.7. So that comes out about right. Uh, the two smaller ones equal the big one. Okay, that's the uh, the windings have integrity. We're in meg ohms. I'm going to check the chassis ground. Now, I'm getting kind of a variable reading here. Uh, 26, uh, 27, 28 meg ohms. That's pretty high. That's like I'm showing like right now, 3 million ohms. And you would think, well, that's okay. It really isn't. This thing should read OL. When I go from any of these windings to the chassis, which in this case is just the, of the magnet, uh, we should read OL every time. Now, I'm going to get you a close up on these windings and you can tell why. Okay, we're looking at these windings now, and I'm going to want to make a comparison. Now, I'm going to uh, zero in on some windings. Okay, those are the start windings because they're a smaller diameter than the run windings. They look okay. However, Okay, these are run windings here, and we're going to get closer on these because they don't look right from a distance. Okay, with this close look, you can see that the strings are still intact. They haven't burned off. Usually they're really bad, they're burned off. But look at all that roughness. I can just scrape. See, I can just scrape the insulation right off of these things. This thing's been hot. You can't do that without doing some major scraping to get that off of there. Uh, that's why we were reading a uh, reading on our megometer. Uh, these windings, I would not expect them to go any time at all. That's probably why this one failed. It probably shorted somewhere, probably shorted to ground or some silly thing, uh, but then broke the short. But because of the condition of those of that uh, lacquer, see when they put these together, they the wire is actually uh, it's got a lacquer on. It's a real high temperature lacquer. Uh, it's probably not lacquer anymore, but you know, it's something like that. Uh, and it has to get really hot for that lacquer to burn off. And that's the insulation for the wires. So this one has been plenty hot enough uh, to melt that or burn it or whatever it's done to it. And it's about ready to fall off. That's why I'm reading a resistance. Anytime you're working on a compressor, and you go to chassis ground, and that's chassis ground on the compressor itself, on the body of the compressor or something, and then go to one of the windings, you should read OL. If you do not read OL, the compressor is toast. Uh, be sure you don't get your fingers on the probes, because if you get your fingers on the probes, it'll give you false reading. It will read a reading. Uh, but in this case, I would say these windings uh, probably stop this thing 
and probably in it being bounced about and so on like that went back to working again for a little while and uh, would go out again very quickly because uh, that coating that lacquer stuff is gone and that's the Carlisle compressor and why it failed